One of my very favourite ways of eating chicken is just simply roast and served with a pea risotto. And a pea risotto is very easy, very simple to make. And it's all done in about 18 minutes. Shallots, rice, parmesan, a bit of parsley, fresh peas, no vegetable granules, reduced salt, just dissolve in water. Delicious. So, as always, a splash of olive oil. And risotto is a fantastic alternative to making a gravy or making a sauce. Shallots, as always, cook to remove the water content, to remove the acidity to allow the natural sweetness. So we cook without colour. Add our rice. So you can see, mix it in with the shallots and the olive oil. A little white wine. A big splash, you know, maybe 50 mils, 75 mils. So now what we do is bring the wine to the boil, reduce it down, remove the acidity, and then we can proceed with the stock. As you can see, we add the stock slowly, little by little, working it into the rice. So therefore what happens is the rice absorbs the stock and releases its starch. And also by working it all the time, what happens is the rice cooks perfectly individually rather than just pouring it on top of each other. The beauty of risotto is, once you have the confidence at the stove to make it, then your recipes are endless. You flavour it with whatever you wish. Saffron, wild mushrooms, asparagus. Today it's peas and parsley. Delicious. So this has now been cooking for about 14 minutes, 15 minutes. We have the last bit of stock. And the rice I'm using is super fino, which is only about 16 minutes to cook, approximately, maybe 18, depending on the brand that you buy. But you can see it's now becoming very creamy. Add some peas. If you can't get fresh peas, use frozen. They're very good. Again, it's your choice how many peas you put into the risotto. What I tend to like is lots of peas and rice and just the chicken, no supplement vegetables. I fill the risotto with my vegetable, so therefore it's just chicken and risotto, but I've got sufficient vegetables inside my risotto. My chicken is just roast very simply, straightforward, no faff, 40 minutes in the oven, that's it. There's your parmesan. Again, parmesan is to your palate. I tend not to be too generous with my parmesan, but some people like it a little bit more, so you can serve that separately. And then your butter, squeeze on top. So here's my roast chicken. When you carve a chicken, what's rather nice is that you carve the length of the chicken, so you get one large slice of chicken, but also, secondly, it's got some real texture to it. You can carve meat too thin, you lose texture, you lose heat, you lose juices. So there's my risotto. You can see how it's, the cheese is melted and the butter's making it very creamy. And then with the olive oil and the juices from our tray, a little bit of the roasting fat, finish with the parsley. There's something rather delicious about the roasting fat with the juices, which have been roasted with a little bit of lemon juice and just dribbled over at the end. There we have our pea risotto with the roast chicken. Let's not forget, making risotto is very simple, it's very easy. It's just dissolve your fear, have the confidence, have a go. So as you can see, the way I make my risotto, everything's been concentrated, flavours, the stock. I like my risotto to be quite strong in flavour, but at the same time quite delicate. 